lovelies and welcome back to this channel if you're new here my name is Belinda Strana thank you so much for all the love and support don't forget to please subscribe to this channel or turn on notifications so that anytime I upload a video you will be the first person to be notified and to my returning subscribers to those who that share my videos leave commentaries and also educate each and every one of us you guys are the real MVP all right lovelies let's dive in into this so lovely, so I came across this video on my For You page on TikTok and I thought to show you guys where this Asian woman decided to come out and say the quiet part out loud about the people that looks like me, like black women. She went ahead to state that black women are always trying to compete with, um, you know, Asian women. Like, oh my goodness, this got a lot of people to react because she gave reasons why she feels so i'm just going to roll the clip please leave me your own thought and let's dive into it you guys yeah, i'm gonna say something kind of wild but it's because i saw it somewhere but i don't know if we might have to cut it out but anyways someone said that the reason why some girls vagina is tighter than others it's is because used. huh Huh? No, 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 it has nothing to do, do with that, they said that it's because like ethnicity wise, yeah. like, like black men have, you know, are known to have larger dicks, so yeah. therefore the women have that makes sense. bigger it's holes. Oh, that and then, you know, Listen, I thought their Lauren Hill take was bad, okay, I thought that was the most anti-black racist thing I could have heard on a podcast, but this one, this one, Esther. Come on, Esther. You knew you were being recorded. Why did you even... As an Asian woman, we are overly sexualized, overly fetishized, and stereotyped. And for you to make that comment about black women is the most jaw-dropping insane thing that i've ever fucking heard in my life that was the most anti-black racist comment that i have heard in a while and honestly as another poc woman i just think that this is nuts like what you spewed out in that take was super harmful towards black women because they are hypersexualized. they are also fetishized and i would think as another POC as another Asian woman who's been over sexualized and fetishized you would understand that that is a very toxic mentality but again I'm not surprised because our people seem to be very anti-black and very racist um, and it's gonna take a lot for you Esther to unlearn and unpack the racism and anti-blackness that unfortunately is prevalent in our community this is going to take a lot of unpacking a lot of unlearning of anti-blackness and racism but i don't really know because you seem like a pick me bitch so the fact that you got on here willfully ignorant spewing out these stereotypes about black women and you did zero research when you saw that online and you could have said i saw this online but i know it's not true when you have a platform like that. That's actually fucking wild. And this is why I say not everybody deserves a fucking podcast because y'all can't shut the fuck up. And not everybody wants to fucking listen to your goddamn thoughts because sometimes those thoughts sound dumb as fuck. If you can't fuck, just say that. If you can't fuck, just say that. Okay? Because that's what this gives. It gives that you have a whack ass pussy, okay? Okay? It gives that you you have you have the corniest. They can't throw it back as pussy gay. You got to pick up a whole race and run a negative ad campaign to prop yourself up to say what? Cause all I heard, cause all I heard was damn, my pussy's whack at the end of the day. That's what I heard from you. I heard I got some black ass pussy gay. And I can't fuck at the end of the day. That's what I heard. Now I'm sure that's okay. But to pick up all black women, you got to pick up the whole race of black women to like prop one pussy up. God damn, that shit sucks. That shit, that shit got to suck. You can go and work out your shit, okay? Learn how to throw that shit back, snap at it, okay? But that just lets me know. Ain't wrong with her woman talking like, baby, I lose this. I know for a fact, I know for a fact. When you lay your head down, you can't throw it back. You got whack ass pussy at 
today. And just to be clear, I want you to know all of this was you just trying to say that you can't fuck, babe. And I want you to know that's all you had to say. <laughs> so under the influence podcast, um, was talking about how black women are loose down there. Black women have loose flower. Y'all know what a flower is. A girl's flower. Yes, a girl's flower. They were talking about how they're loose. I just have a question to my black girls. Is it true? <laughs> I'm just like, how is an Asian woman talking about black women's flower being loose? Maybe she's looking at her eyes and she feels insecure about her eyes being so small. So she's like, okay, well, let me pick something that I feel like other women will be insecure about. <laughs> or maybe she feels like a lot of black girls nowadays, they're dating Asian men. And maybe they're stealing Asian men due to the looseness of your flower down there, guys. Black women, stay away from Asian men. Because if you do not, Asian women will come for y'all and talk about how y'all are not tight down there. <laughs> you know, the only people that can confirm this are people that are married to black men that are married to asian women and asian men that are married to black women they are the only people that can confirm this we cannot confirm this even y'all yourself cannot confirm it okay because y'all can't do anything to your flower <laughs> but that's so funny too. <laughs> sorry i'm sorry Dear black women, I'm so sorry, but your flower is loose down there. Go and fix it. The only thing is we don't got a BBL for that. Next. <laughs> okay, y'all. So I'm going to make this video short, maybe not so sweet, but there was a content creator on here and she was talking about a video that she had seen where it was i think it was an asian woman who was dating a black man or something like that anyways but the asian woman had said something derogatory with regard to black women that the reason why she was with this black man was because a a, a black woman couldn't get this black man that she was you know a black woman couldn't compete with her as an asian woman and that's how come she got the black man and that in the comments of this video of this Asian woman that black men were, you know, giving her daps and all that and kudos and all this other shit. And here's what I have to say about that. Black men who whose preference is other than black women, that's fine. You can have whatever preference you want. I don't even really feel like black women give a shit because I know. I don't but the thing about it is when you bash a black woman and you're black you're a black man bashing black women which most of most black men come from a black woman that's who birthed you into the world but you bash black women and personally I wouldn't want to be with a man who bashes women at all but i certainly wouldn't want to be with a black man who bashes black women especially if he came from a black woman and black men that do that you're weak you're weak you're a loser you're not much of a man and that's why you've gone outside of your own ethnicity to find a mate because those women are weak as well because a black woman is not for the weak we just aren't 
a black queen needs a a king. She can't if you can't be on king level, then you 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 just not gonna be you not gonna be a black woman is not gonna be able, be able to. She's not gonna be able to deal with you. So men, black men that belittle and berate black women, and you came from a black woman, that's because you're weak. You're weak. You're weak minded, and you went after something that's on your level, in your lane. And that's all it is. So, for Asian women or whatever, uh, other than black women who think they're doing something because they're with the black man, black women, we don't care. We don't care. And I've just explained to you why he's with you. Because you're weak. He's weak and you're weak. That's all it is. A strong black man wants a strong black woman because he came from a strong black woman. That's what he needs on his level. He knows who he is. He's a strong black man. He knows he's a king and he needs his queen beside him. Because history shows black people are African roots. We are queens and we are kings. Period. That's what's running through your blood. And that's what it is. I don't remember where I was specifically, but when I was little, somewhere in the U.S., I was around eight or nine years old. I was in an adult conversation that I should have been in. It's not like these grown-ups were talking to me, but I was in the vicinity and I could hear basically what they were saying. And I remember at the time it was a group of black men talking to each other. And this was not a kid-friendly area. They were talking about women in the most naughty way and all the ways that you could think they were. And then they started talking about specifically women genitalia. And at some point, I remember one of them saying, hey, haha, Asian women have sideways genitalia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is where we're going. And at the time, again, I was a kid and I should not have been around to hear that. But at the time, I still had a general understanding of women genitalia. I'm Haitian, so in my culture, like, women tend to be naked around other women all the time. Like, if my mom's taking a shower, she would be naked, I would see her body. If my aunt's taking a shower, she would be naked, I would see her body. It's not something that's rare for us, most of us at least. And with the brain of a little girl, even with that little understanding of the human body, I had a general understanding that even though these things might vary in, like, size and color, they're still kind of laid out the same and so i thought that was kind of silly at the time i was too young to understand that it was a racist and a sexist comment made by that man and you know i forgot about it years later i would be in college listening to three six mafia half on a sack you know the the one that you guys liked there's a part of the song that basically says that same sexist and racist stereotype against asian women and i must say again it is racist and sexist but not only that it's ridiculously stupid it's one of the most dumbest and ignorant things i've ever heard in my life and i still stand by that so you know now that i'm 25 years old i would not go to a podcast and talk about asian women's genitalia in the first place and even if i found myself in a conversation with a man or woman who said that i would probably deter from engaging in conversations that are sexist and racist towards asian women especially with the layer of humiliation that comes with what is being said not only are you speaking about somebody's private area somebody's an intimate area because you shouldn't in the first place but you're also feeding massage noir specifically massage noir because one of the best ways to dehumanize women and make them feel less than for men and other women to do is to talk about their body especially that area and call me sensitive if you want to but i think it's extremely dehumanizing to talk about a group of people like that even if the statement is ridiculously fucking stupid I'm sure you guys have heard of the whole Under the Influence podcast and Drew Afalonfo. I can't pronounce your name. I am dyslexic. I am so sorry. So sorry, girly. But I think it's so funny because when you are a business owner, you are supposed to conduct yourself in a certain way. You do not disrespect people for no reason. If they don't come for you, you do not come for them. That is one thing that is very important. Okay? And they came for someone who wasn't doing anything. Right? Drew doesn't like misogynistic men, not any just any old man, a misogynist. And they're mad at her for not liking misogynists and compared her to red pilled men, men who would actually like to see women in a slave position. That's how they want women to be a slave. And you're telling me that she's the same way. That doesn't make any sense.
that doesn't make any sense, okay? The most, two, not the most important, but two important things is influence and social proof, right? I talk about this in my psychology marketing guide, but when you are disrespecting people and acting a fool in public, you are showing people they shouldn't buy your product. Okay, you are influencing them, yes, to not buy your product, okay? And then, by influencing them, you're getting more people reviewing your product in a negative light. Social proof. People are not going to want to buy your product. People are going to be like, you know what, it's not even worth it. It's not worth buying your product. I could probably find something better. I don't even care if it's cheap. I don't care if yours is the most cheapest product. I'll pay the exorbitant price not to drink your drink because you disrespected someone for no reason and painted yourself in a bad light, I'm not, you, you can go on. Goodbye, bye. They're not going to want to buy your product. You just screwed yourself for no other reason other than the fact that you're stupid. That's it. And that's crazy. That's actually crazy and I think it's funny. I think it's honestly so funny. Ugh. I seriously love this. The question is, why is it that most of these POC or most people that is not people that looks like me that is not black often use an example often use maybe black people as an example so these pan colored or no, this POC woman what happens to an Asian woman took to a whole podcast you know talking about how black men this is you know then automatically black women and flowers <laughs> oh my god there is some things that you don't even need to say in public like this podcast of a thing is even getting me irritated sometimes and why always using black women or black people as an example you are a POC woman why not why not use for example you know Asian women this or Asian men, this why must it be black people? Why must it be black people? Like, why always black people? Why can't you use maybe Hispanic people or even Asian people or even you know any other? Why must you use you know black men and black women or to like that? <laughs> oh my goodness. There are some things that when I even see this, like the way at, at which people reason, this has nothing to do with someone's race. It, this is genetic. That's a, oh my god! It has everything to do with genetic. It has everything to do with someone's, you know. When I saw some of the stitches and the particular lady that was like, oh, is it because your ass is flat and blah blah blah, that and you see black women's, you know. It's all big and all that means automatically they are <laughs> oh gosh. You know last time it was actually a pan colored woman who decided to come out publicly to spew how she is or uh, how black women black women black women black women are not high competition that they can never compete with her because she treats her black men or her black man so perfectly she described how she treated this man like a king served the man food worship the man so therefore black women can never be a competition for her because she's not even going to you know lose her man in the hands of a black woman because she feels that you know people that looks like me they they, they can't keep family they don't know what family is all about but people that looks like her you know knows exactly what it means to to have a family and to hold one so therefore you know people that looks like me are not in competition with are not her competition like it actually went viral and the question is why are they always coming for black women like what is so special what is so like you cannot even do without people that is not talking about you these women that you guys keep on calling upon don't even talk about you. Like, I have tried as much as I can to see if there is a stitch of black woman saying Asian woman dislike. I don't understand. These same people that that is just focused on their own business, that is focused 
on being a better version of themselves they're just minding the business their, their business but you guys if it's, if they're not called by hispanic people they will called out by pan colored people they will also be called out by you know asian people like i don't understand you know two days or three days back i think i stitched a video of these same asian people coming out to to cry out about um some you know group of shows trying to steal or appropriate their culture the same thing that they accuse black people of crying too much like what is so what is so bad you know if someone wears box bread but they have the same people coming out to actually cry out about some group of shows booba or whatsoever still in their culture you know and now they are at it again they are at it calling out someone that does not even that that, that, that <laughs> they don't even they don't care if you exist or not these women they like they have a lot to do with it like being a black woman actually comes with a lot of responsibility even if you don't have a family it comes with a lot of responsibility from the society like if you're a black woman automatically <laughs> you, you you really need to be strong because the way at which individual will drag you society will drag even your own some men some black men also drag black women so that's why you know like i posted a video yesterday about this if gene if the if gene and a lot of people <laughs> there are some people that like so many comments like they were like don't tell me that black woman is a god or blah 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 but this is just a historical fact nobody is saying that a black woman is a god or something but there is this gene that is only it's it, that it's only found in black women but people do not want to actually accept that fact that's why sometimes when i see things like this before i i get so hurt i want to like rant i want to like but so, now i'm beginning to accept it because i think it's just because black women are just you know they are, they are just the real deal they are just the real deal or black people like say black people so we shouldn't be getting maybe too worked up if people keep doing this because I, I i think you know black women is being because of the the well, black people that that they chose people so the, the chosen people need to be talked about you need to, like there are so many you know things that 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 comes from being a chosen person you know so there are so many trials and tribulations from every angle so it's not new it's not new but she really needs to think deeply because she or she needs to ask her doctor or anybody that that is so good in the the, the woman body and why it's so structured differently i think it has nothing to do with because black men this is big and <laughs> oh my gosh i cannot I cannot, when i even saw this video i wanted to i was like okay i'm gonna stitch this but you know i decided to stitch because there are some people that's, that thinks like this they think maybe because the way at which black women are created or they are made which you know maybe with some curvy or thing a lot of people think that okay it's big <laughs> oh gosh anyway lovelies why not just leave me your own thoughts in the comment section of what you think of this video and um, please do not forget that we do not support any form of bullying and harassment. We're just here for educational and informative purposes. And if you've not subscribed, please do give a huge bell to click on the subscription button. And I will see you lovelies when I upload the next one. Watch out to this guys there. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Don't forget to please leave me your own thoughts in the comment section of what you think of this video. And please do not forget that we do not support any form of bullying and harassment. We're just here to educate ourselves. I'll see you lovelies when I upload in this one.